I walk barefoot. So the last two days have been two laps around the lake. Here's the lake, Nineharn Lake. I want to talk about the barefooting in particular and the, uh, the reaction of other people. So now that I'm out here every day, this third day in a row, getting more and more people noticing and some comments and stuff like, wow, you know, especially from the Farang. The Thais, I don't think it's that big a deal because Thais walk either barefoot or in, or in flip-flops most of the time, right? Out there in the village, when I, where I built the house out in Sisaket, uh, the workers will work barefoot often. Even, you know, even pouring concrete. They won't, uh, they, they're not in those, you know, uh, knee height rubber boots. They're barefoot pouring concrete and they just hose off the concrete when they're finished. Oh. Um, and uh, so, People are saying that and they're like, ah, oh, ah, oh, you haven't ground ground yourself down to your to your uh, ankles. <laughs> so uh, will it rub off? Doubtful. I mean, if there's one thing that COVID and everything else political and COVID was political, political and the smart the quote smartphone unquote. Um, well, it is a phone. It's the smart that should be in scare quotes. Um, the phones have become more like, uh, you've heard the saying blind leading the blind. Well, it's that, but it's also morons leading the morons. Abject morons. Right? Um, so, will, it, will anyone adopt it? Very doubtful, because because people in general, the 95 to 98% who are pretty much worthless in terms, they're useless breathers, so many of them. They're intransigent, right? They're not intelligent. Very, very few intel truly intelligent people in the world. And I count amongst those intransigent, the morons who hold PhDs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Morons who hold PhDs. It's easy to get a fucking PhD. Easy. Now, to be smart, you have to have, first of all, the natural proclivity for that. Um, and then you have to develop it. And the way you develop it is set aside your fucking biases. Yeah. Most PhDs are the most biased people you'll ever meet. They get an education and letters after their name, their names, so that, so that they're not questioned so much and they're taken as authorities. That's what it's for. It's not about the true seeking of knowledge testing, forming hypotheses, and then testing them with a, with a penchant for falsifying so that they can move on to, to a new idea. Okay.